My name is Dr. Yaron Danieli. I'm head of Immune Alpha. Alpha is a banking term. It means excess return over market performance. Everyone's looking for alpha. Everyone's trying to hack alpha. What can you do as a venture capital fund to just outperform your peers? We weren't looking to build just another VC. We were looking to build a platform with thrust, a force that's big enough to create tremendous value for its portfolio companies. The unique skill sets, the networks, and the scale benefits, just the size of a moon, add value in a way that no other venture capital fund could add to our portfolio company. The due diligence process conducted by Amun was probably the largest and most exhaustive that I've ever gone, and I've gone through several. I've been asked to present the system to a new hospital in Canada. Back then, it looked like a waste of time. Like, why should I present to another one? Like, I did it so many times. I don't need another one. Amun actually insisted that Theronica would run a market survey with real patients in the U.S. And I remember that Yair told me, um, don't look at it as a test. Look at it as an opportunity to open doors for you and get it to a new one. It turned out to be very valuable, and this is an inherent part of our product today. The material that Amun generated as part of their diligence ended up being tremendously helpful not only to us, but also ended up being excellent content for the other investors that followed. So T. Rowe Price, and even in a subsequent round when Fidelity led, a lot of the diligence material were material that were aggregated and generated through the Amun financing. Amun's starting point is coming from a deep understanding of healthcare. That's exemplified in the clinical knowledge that the team has, how to go to market, how to commercialize, and ultimately how to find the willingness to pay with payers and providers. Connections into the venture capital space, into growth investors, into private equity. We were introduced to certain key investors and also made introduction to important banks that we were able to talk to as part of the process that led us to the IPO. I've been in this journey for 20, five years, and I know what startups needs. And it's not only the check. The check is not enough. Once you hit a wall or even before, you want someone to help you. It's the HR, talent, uh, advice, business development, uh, how to approach the market, what to do in the right timing and context. And it's something that usually we don't get from investors. It's been about progressively becoming a citizen of an ecosystem that spans thought leaders in academia, the best of the institutions, industry, banks, investors. And when you become a part of that portfolio, you actually become a member of that ecosystem. And with that citizenship also comes some responsibility, which is you're also helping others, just like others in that ecosystem help you. These investors care deeply about health tech. Investors who are committed, who are curious, and who are connected. Having LPs who are really spanned across the globe give us access points to these new markets for our companies. Two of those connections in Israel and at Stanford that were part of a diligence process for Emun actually ended up becoming collaborators of SEER subsequently. Emun's in-house expertise around PR, around marketing, around branding has provided really invaluable opportunities for our portfolio companies to focus on their work and at the same time allow us to support them in the areas that we think are so important for their brand and for their identity. Ayala has big plans to become an oncology company, not a single product company. The Moon has helped a lot in our ability to build this strategy and to execute on that. The right people at the Moon, with the right scale and size, and the unique edge that Alpha provides will create for a Moon an unfair advantage a competitive edge that's going to be hard to beat.